Greeting friends and welcome back to Sephardic Flavors. There's a lot to learn. And today is one of these times that I can talk to you and hopefully get to know you better when you send me your comments. And nice to meet you everyone. Happy to see all of you. Happy that you finally see me. Let's see everything we can ever learn. I think you're gonna like it. So, let's start. And today I wanted to introduce to you my paella. So there's a lot of different kinds of paella. I made a paella with chicken and vegetables, and this one is so delicious and so easy to make. The nice thing that I love about paella, it's a whole meal in one pot. And I chose to serve my chicken rice paella with vegetables. To this, I added a Moroccan beet salad and a Moroccan cabbage side dish. And it was a wonderful, delicious dish. I wanted to show you, I chose to make my paella with my tagine base. And the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil and I have here about four pounds of chicken thighs. And the first thing I'm going to do, I just want them to have a nice kind of a honey look color uh, before the cooking. So I am going to add the chicken thighs with the skin. Uh, and then I can remove the skin uh, before the serving. And the reason I'm using a tagine's base, I love this tagine base. It's stainless steel, it's a non-stick base, and I love it. And it's wide enough because I am going to use about six different chicken thighs. So this one will work perfect for me. And then I need enough room for the vegetables as well. So this will be perfect. And as you can see, I am using a splatter prote protector to help me. I don't want the oil to splash and splatter everywhere. So this is a great idea for you. I'm also turning the chicken thighs to the other side. And here you can see they got a nice color. Wonderful. Our next step is I'm going to transfer the chicken thighs to a different pot and I'm going to keep the oil that the vegetables oil that I used to fry the chicken so do not discard the oil so there you go I am transferring all the chicken thighs to the pot and the oil will be great for uh, cooking the onions and the garlic that we're gonna cook in a minute. Okay, now that I have all the chicken thighs in the new pot, I am going to add one and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm also adding one cup of water. And now I'm going to bring it to a boil. I'm going to cover the pot and it's going to be cooked on simmer for about 30 minutes. I've got here two medium onions that I chopped and I'm going to add them to the same oil where I fried the chicken thighs. This oil is now flavored so nice with all the chicken thighs if you remember. So let's brown the onions and to this I'm going to add two large garlic cloves that I chopped. And as you can see, I'm cooking the onion and the garlic on about medium to low heat. I don't want to burn it, but I want the garlic to release a nice, uh, delicate flavor. 
And while the onion and garlic are still cooking and browning, I am getting ready with my vegetables. I wanted to show you this knife. It's amazing, I love it. I use it for fresh vegetables and for cooked vegetables. It adds so much beauty to the vegetables that I chop. I, and I will have a link for you below this video if you would like to purchase it. Um, look at this. Look at the carrots and the zucchini. This is how this knife chops them. I love it. You have to be very careful. This is a sharp knife, so be careful. But it's wonderful when I make my Moroccan carrot salad that has so many good reviews um, and compliments. This is the knife that I use. And look at it. The vegetables for my paella are going to be presented beautiful in the paella pot. Oh, that's beautiful. The onion cooked so nice. You can see that it's brown browning really nice. I don't want to burn the garlic, so we have to be very careful with that. So the onion is ready and now I can start adding some spices. I love simplicity and you see this very simple uh, grater. I love it. I use it so much. I am shredding one whole tomato. I don't even peel the tomatoes off the skin. The skin actually helps protect my fingers. So I shredded the tomatoes and tossed the skin and that's it. Now I'm cooking the tomatoes with the onion and garlic for about three to five minutes, just a few minutes, making sure that the tomato releases a nice color and a delicate tomato flavor of a freshly grated tomato. Now I'm going to add two small uh, bay leaves, dry bay leaves, that is, and to that I am adding about a quarter to a half teaspoon maximum of black pepper. And to that I am adding a half teaspoon turmeric. And while you are adding all these spices, make sure that the onion and the spices are cooked on a very low heat. Now I'm adding a half teaspoon sweet paprika. And if you have saffron and you can add a little bit, it's an option. And just so you know, turmeric will give you a very, very similar flavor to saffron. In fact, turmeric is called the saffron for poor. I don't know about it. I love using turmeric and I use it a lot. Look at our beautiful color. And now we are ready to start adding the vegetables. And even though we are really not going to see the vegetables arrangement that much, because it's all going to be covered with chicken and rice, I still want to place them really nice um, in my uh, tagine base, giving it a nice look and making sure that the vegetables flavor is everywhere. So, as you can see, we have the green squash, we have zucchini, we have the carrots, wonderful. You can actually add whatever you would like. Sometimes I would add a potato or a sweet potato. I love to add roots to my paellas. There's a lot of different roots that I would add. I like the celeriac root. Just any roots that I have, I like to add them as well when I'm making a chicken paella, not when I'm making a fish paella. When I make fish paella, I add very, very uh, specific uh, vegetables and one day we'll make a fish paella. But yeah, look how beautiful it is. It looks beautiful. I'm adding now one and a half cup of water and I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then we're going to cover it and simmer and cook it for about 15 minutes or so. And after 15 minutes of cooking, I am ready to add some more herbs. So I've got here thyme and I have sage. And really you can choose, you can add oregano instead. 
Um, I chose thyme and sage because I have them fresh and why not? So just a little bit, a half teaspoon of either oregano or sage, not more than that. The flavor can be very dominant. And now let's give it a few minutes of cooking, at least five minutes of cooking for the herbs to release their beautiful flavor and aroma. Then we can continue. This step was very important. Now we got the very basic flavor of the paella. And now that I've got that, I am ready to start adding back all the chicken. Remember, our chicken cooked in a separate pot, uh, beautifully cooked with salt and water, and we are now adding it back to the paella base and just arranging it really nice to cover all the vegetables. I did turn the heat to low again so that I can uh, make sure that we're not losing the liquids of the vegetables and the herbs and the garlic. Everything created such a nice flavor. And now the chicken is all back and I am ready to add the rice. I've got here one and a half cup of rice. The rice that I would recommend the most is the Arborio rice. And if you don't have it, um, you can add basmati if you don't have Arborio. But usually Arborio is wonderful for a paella. That would be my classic choice for a paella. And I know that you can find it in most grocery shops. So the next thing we're doing, I'm going to try and arrange the rice in between all this, the empty spaces so that it can kind of cushion the chicken and get into the flavor of the vegetables and the spices and the herbs. So all I'm doing now, I just want to try and push the rice to the bottom of the pot as much as I can. And the last thing I'm doing, remember the liquid from the chicken that we cooked? Everything goes back to the pot. So I'm going to drizzle the liquid back to the pot and I'm adding to that another cup and a half of water. We have to try and make sure that the rice is covered as much as possible. And at this point, I am doing my best not to mix anything there. Everything is all set in the place that it belongs to. So I can try and shake the base a little bit, but at this point, I am going to cover the base of the paella and we're going to cook it on simmer for about 40 minutes. Sometimes it would need a little more and that's perfectly fine. We're going to need to cook it for at least 40 minutes because not only we want the rice to cook, we want to make sure that the chicken thighs release their wonderful flavor to the uh, rest of the ingredients we have here. And that's our paella and I'm going to show you in a second. And here it comes. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Our paella is ready. It's wonderful. I served it so nice with all the vegetables. I served it with the rice. Look at the beautiful, the color that the rice got. And the vegetables are at the bottom. Oh my goodness. This was a wonderful dish. It was a great dish. 
it had vegetables, it's got the protein, and it's got the grains. And to this I added two different salads, and oh my gosh, it was a perfect meal without that much work. Many, many times I love the idea of a one-pot meal. It's great. I served this meal with the Moroccan beet salad, which I will link for you uh, below this video in the description box so that you can have this amazing recipe because it is amazing. And to that I added the Moroccan cabbage side dish. Beautiful! And that's the next video that will be uploaded. You can see what a nice delicious meal and very healthy and very easy to make. Thank you so much for joining me today. And with that, my friend, I thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please join our cooking community, subscribe. Thank you for all the coffee donations. And also thank you so much for those of you that are supporting us by visiting our Shop to Support store on Amazon. All the links are right below this video. We have three charities that we are starting now to support and a small percentage of the sales goes to these charities. So thank you so much for your support and I will see you in the next